<laughs> my name's Jose, and I've been living the most amazing life in Fiji since I quit my job five years ago with the intention to sail around the world. Welcome to my YouTube channel, where I'll share my adventures with you. Make sure to check out Sailing Seabatical on Instagram, where you can keep up to date on my adventures and find a link to apply and maybe even join this crew one day. So I am leaving San Diego with my buddy Mike and Seaton. Mike. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about how we know each other and what our sailing history is. So I met you uh, about eight or nine years ago. Um, we were living in the Bay Area. I was living in Oakland. We worked together and uh, you found this insane deal on a J92S where we could each pay a hundred dollars a month and had access to this beautiful boat in San Francisco. So. Uh, yeah, it was awesome. We had a lot of good times going to Angel Island. Um, How many days a week did we sail? Three or four. And I may or may not have gotten on the back of your scooter uh, to go down <laughs> to the uh, <laughs> to go down to the marina when we can. October 2020, we're in the middle of the COVID pandemic, but Mike and I have a lot of catching up to do. Our friendship goes way back to when I worked an office job in San Francisco and we were partners on a timeshare sailboat that we would go out sailing on every single day after work. Our lives are quite different now. Mike has twin daughters, after who he named the boat, Sarah Marie. He's married, owns a house, changed his career, but one thing that hasn't changed and it's our shared passion for sailing. I knew he had been working hard on prepping his boat, a 1974 Cal 227, a classic plastic built in Costa Mesa and designed by the renowned Bill Lapworth that he had picked up and completely rewired, painted, bought new sails, upgraded batteries on, and installed a solar panel, among other projects. All in, for under $10,000, he had a great boat to put to the test on a little cruise. And I was honored when he invited me to join him along with his childhood friend, Seton, and the trip did not disappoint. We sailed the 80 nautical miles to Catalina Island, most of it overnight, and when we pulled into Avalon, there was a bit of a festive feel and you can tell that it's probably a lot of fun in the summer. It has an air of Italian or Greek hillside coastal village, but remember, it's 2020 and we're in a pandemic, so we're trying to keep away from people.
So we hop back on sailing vessel Sarah Marie and headed to explore some caves we had seen on the way in. Right. Good on you. The visibility was absolutely spectacular and the kelp forest was a totally new playground for me. There were so many colors and so much life. Eventually, it was time to move on and find our next anchorage for the night, Two Harbors. Anchorage at Two Harbors was much more our style. The attraction was the natural beauty that would provide a lifetime of memories rather than visiting stores selling cheap plastic crap. And my friends still managed to watch the Dodgers win the World Series on a projector on the boat. This will be your uh, classic Pacific rainbow trout. Uh, what you're gonna wanna do is throw this bad old daddy back in its guppy pond and let it grow to about 12, 14 feet. That's when these suckers are perfectly illegal to pull out of water. You don't need a license or anything. So uh, good luck on there, buddy. <laughs>